Hello you guys, hope you're doing well. It's been a while since I showed some Harry Potter in the channel. This is Carla with Your Dummies. And if you're in my Instagram community, you already saw me opening these doors. Um, this was a very, very fun and a project that I needed to get done as soon as we moved into the house. So I cannot wait to like show it, put close-ups and explain the train of thought behind it. Follow me. Okay, so at first I wanted to put um, Hedwig I'm still thinking I get a head wig to put on top of the private drive symbol that I got from Box Lunch. But for now, this is the entrance. Open the doors. And this is my view. Every time you enter the house, this is like the first thing you see. I love it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you close ups and then I'm gonna sit down and just answer all the questions that you guys left on my Instagram page. I had a lot of fun accommodating things. There were replicas of things I haven't seen like in six months that they have been in storage. So I was just glad to get everything out and have it all together again. I'm going to explain where I got the shelves and why I chose this color for them. I was very, very happy with the result. So as you guys can see, I left very, very little pops inside the boxes this time around. I really wanted to maximize the space. And um, so most of the pops are out of the box now and I just kind of appreciate the details so much better. I've always been an out of the box collector. So I'm just glad to have most of them out of the box now. And I feel I can just appreciate them better. Poor Demi guys, still hasn't been brushed. I put him there as soon as I got him out of the box, but I need to brush his hair. He looks a little bit cray. Here are my Nifflers. And we get into the Fantastic Beast. I actually have a figure like that for Niffler and I think I left it in the box. So I have to go into my boxes and just find where he is. I love this frame. It's from Hallmark. Flowers is the best house of all. And here I got some flogged ones. Ones that are just, you know, from conventions and exclusives. And I have so many nudes that I was like, I'm just gonna leave this on the box. Like this, like not special reason, but you know, just really didn't want them to just get mixed in here for now. So that is pretty much it. Let's answer questions. Okay, let's do this. So I posted a picture of all my shelves on Instagram and asked you guys to tell me which one was your favorite shelf and what did you want to know about it? So I got very interesting questions. The funniest one was like, how much have you spent on this collection? And it's been the same since 2018. I don't do the math. I feel if I did the math, I would take all the fun away from this. <laughs> so that one, that's the answer for that one. I, before I go to the questions, I wanted to talk a little bit about why the gray shells, and I'm going to share where I got them. I, back in summer of last year, I knew I wanted to change the white ones. I've been using the white shells since 2018, so it's almost four years of the same thing. And I did want it to change. Um, so I knew, I didn't want the classic black or white or even like the brown one that Ikea has to offer. And I wanted something that looked a little bit more sturdy and looked like a little bit more classic than just plain. As you guys can see, the shelves have like gray outside and inside they are like white, but it looks like wood. It just looks very classy. But I wanted something that wasn't expensive. Um, unfortunately, I changed my taste very often and my husband is very used to me buying something for our house and one year later, I'm not feeling it anymore. I don't know if any of you feel like that. It's like, hmm, it doesn't match my vibe anymore. So my husband is like, if you buy something that is very expensive and I was looking for months, this was like since summer. 
looking for different um, shelves, different ideas on Pinterest, I would send my husband like all my boards. Like, what do you think of this? How do you think I can achieve this? Uh, back then I got like teal paint and I was like thinking of painting the whole shelves teal. I saw some green, like olive green. I just wanted something different, but not, not the classic white. So, but then again, if I would have chosen something that was very dramatic, it might have been a little too much because it's, it's, it's a big collection. So it's like five red shelves looking at you might be a little bit too much. And I wanted something that could be useful if I decide to get my Harry Potter collection in another room, if I decided to get rid of my Harry Potter collection someday, I'm like, hey, it's not that I don't love Harry Potter anymore, I just have different goals right now. I want to be able to use the shelves. I want to, maybe someone else will love the shelves as much as I do. So if I would have put a color that was very dramatic, I would have limited my own options. So, and I could have like, if I use a red shelf or a yellow shelf, it wouldn't look good in my living room and someday I decide to move it to my living room or my own owner's bedroom. So I just wanted something that I could use everywhere else in my house if I decided to. Reason why I did not win with a big 94 inch um, solid wood shelf that I was looking at. I really had my heart and eyes set on a shelf that was very expensive and heavy it was one of those shelves that once they get delivered, the same people that deliver it will install it for you and like it stays there because it's heavy or you would need like a lot of people to move it. Um, obviously it's very sturdy. It's made for people that have like libraries in their houses. I really wanted that, but then again, it would have had to stay there forever. And I knew the way I am. I'm like, ah, I want something that I am able to move. And that's what I achieved with this. These are not as easier to move or to put together than the Billy ones uh, of Ikea. They're not hard to put together either, um, but they are a little bit more sturdy. They look a little bit fancier, but they're still in the 150 range. The Ikea ones, I think they were like 50, $59 each. So this one are a hundred bucks more, but then again, you can get a whole wall of shelves without spending a thousand dollars. And that's what I wanted, something that I can move myself. I don't need the help of my husband to move these around. And it wasn't that expensive. And these specifically come with a set, like you can get the desk, you can get other like entertainment centers, you can get a shelf that is half its size. So it worked out pretty well. I wanted, and I knew I had space up there to put stuff. So I wanted that in the meantime that I don't, I'm not like hanging things in the walls yet, I could put stuff on top and I would have the space, which was the problem with the previous shelves and the roof, like my 10 inch pups would fit sometimes, others wouldn't. Here, I don't have that problem. I can put whatever I want on top of the shelf and I have space. And what I was going to say, the Hogwarts Castle. That was another thing with the Ikea Billy um, shelves, I could not put my Hogwarts Castle inside. I used to have my Hogwarts Castle on a Billy that was old like a couple of years old, it already was like getting rotten on the, on the bottom. So I knew I didn't want to bring that one inside the new house. Uh, my husband like threw it away. So I knew I needed a shelf that would fit the Hogwarts castle, even if it was on top. Another thing, this one, again, you cannot adjust the shelves as easy as in the Ikea Valley, but this one has adjustable shelves. They go up one or one down which is great if you want to put something that is bigger on the top shelf or you want to put something that is bigger on the middle, they will adjust. You just have to like unscrew it, unscrew it again. But it has that. A lot of shelves that I would like love, they didn't have adjustable shelves or they were not deep enough. So it was like, I wanted to find something that was going to be very useful to me and that it was not only going to look good, but it was going to like serve its purpose. So I think I find that <laughs> and it was very, very random because I looked at like Wafer, Overstock, Pottery Barn, West Elm. I was like searching and like I would do random Google search and this one was like, no way. <laughs> you, you guys are gonna die like, it's so cheap, 150 bucks and so easy. They're from Target, you guys, Target. It's like, what? <laughs> I, am, I love Target. 
obviously who doesn't love target it's like if i am on a um try not to like spend a lot of money or like a savings spree like i will go a whole month or two without going to target and my bank account is grateful so I, we all know target has a lot of cute stuff these are from target they are an online exclusive though you won't be able to find them in store but the shipping is usually free so i think target after 50 dollars or 100 bucks sends them for free so and they were sold out a couple of days ago but i checked and they were available again so i'm gonna link them down below um target is not sponsoring me or anything i just love target a lot so being able to find these shelves in there were like so awesome so now that we got that question that is the most i have received in the last couple of days let's get and go ahead and answer the other ones how did i decide what i was gonna go where so I go by theme. It just matches how much is my vibe. Like if I'm not feeling a pop being in there, I'm not just gonna put it. But I actually just started getting things out of the shelf. And there are something like those pops, maybe I would like to be in the same level as those pops. So it's like, there are some things that I just went with it and eventually I'm gonna change. Which brings me to question of how often do I clean? I rearrange a lot. So as I am rearranging, I am cleaning. So the dust doesn't tend to accumulate. I know that I would never wake up one day and it's like, I feel like cleaning all my shelf. I've never done it. In the four years that I've been collecting uh, pieces like these, I usually clean one shelf one day, one line of shelves one week, and then next other. I never take like the whole project at once. Uh, I know some people have it like that. I just don't. And I just use like a wet um, cloth, like a towel cloth so yeah that's how i clean dust i don't do it often i don't take it like a project i don't accumulate that much dust either so i know some people have their collections in a different spot that do get very dusty uh i haven't had that problem but it's my first week here so i'll report further on how much dust i get in this office that is right by the entrance of my house um back to how i chose it so i have for example that shelf that has the cake it has a hagrid with the cake it has dumbledore with baby harry it has two copies of the saucer stone so you know that's my philosopher's stone shelf then you go to the second one that has the kids um with the mandrakes taking the, the gardening class so it's like it goes by themed my shelf right here, let me see if I can point it right here. That one is all Prisoner of Azkaban. So you will see Professor Tilani, you see the night bus, you see the teacup. It's, it, I go by book, if that makes sense. I try to put like, oh my God, little fire pops in there. This is Green Gods. You see um, the escape from Green Gods. You see the um, elf or goblin. Jesus, I call it an elf. The goblin. So I try to go by theme. That way um, they, you know, make sense, have a good flow together. Some things just don't fit where I'm putting. So I put them on top. Like for example, I was having the Triwizard Cup and the Golden Egg together. Then I was like, you know, Dobby feels a little bit lonely. I have put Dobby here. So I moved him there just to be closer to other, the, all the uh, magical creatures. But I rearrange a lot. And eventually all those illustrations that you see on top will be on a on a wall so right now if you guys saw the part of the video coming in you see my disney wall is here my disney wall won't be here forever it's just that i'm going away for a couple of months because of a training that i have and i didn't want to you know leave the people in the house worried about my collection and the kids touching it as you already know i have three kids so these doors are gonna stay closed and that way nobody touches this or breaks anything so, but eventually my Disney collection is going to be in another room and here I'm going to have like a sofa bed. It's going to have a TV that I can put like ambience videos and I like to put like music while I'm rearranging. Um, I'm going to have a full desk in here. It's going to be a functional office guest room if needed. So I'm probably going to sleep here from time to time. <laughs> no, it's, it's really nice. I get a lot of comments saying like I would just like to sit down and stare in your collection. And people in my family do. So, like my mom has been staying with us and she will come to the office and just stare at it. And my sister-in-law, it's, it's just a lot to take in. So even if it's my own collection, believe me, it's still a lot to take in. Um, let me see, where can I buy the risers? So the risers, I'm gonna link them down below. Let me show them to you real quick.
Okay, so these risers, I got some from the Disney collection. They come, you put that screw here, I have to like screw this better. And that's how they work. So I put two and two in each one of them and they fit perfectly. So if you are getting this same shelf, you can fit two. And what I was thinking to do once the illustrations are not up there anymore, and if we ever get more pops or if I decide, which was my original idea, I didn't want it to mix the pops with the replicas. I wanted to leave just the shelves for the books and the replicas. I wanted to go for a cleaner look. So I wanted to put the pops somewhere else completely. Then decided to just mix them with my stuff, but I think eventually I'm just gonna put the pops on top like all together and then replicas and books in the rest of the shelf but that is like a spring or summer project so that's another option if you're looking into separating your pops from your collection it works those risers work great um, my only complaint would be if you are taking pops to like reaccommodate or to take pictures the risers can shake a little bit and then all your pops fall and it just sucks which is the reason why for a long time I just had the Billy and I would just use wood shelves to put my pops line by line. But the risers work a lot to save you a lot of space. Um, how do you decide which ones you got in the box? So I took them all out of the box. They are some very like, not expensive because Harry Potter doesn't have like super expensive one like Disney, but there are some that I would have liked to keep on the box, but they just didn't look good in the shelf. Like I feel you can appreciate the details out of the box. So I went with appreciating the details over their value if they break. Um, the cake, Harry's cake, um, it's my, my, my favorite replica in my collection. I've said this a thousand times. And I got it from the Fantastic Things. He even did it for like test editing. It's like, he is the bomb.com. I wanna link him down below. I'm not quite sure if he's doing them. It's not like a business for him. Like he doesn't have like a page you can go buy it, but you can send him a direct message and see his availability. Um, and I think he also posted a video, a tutorial on how to do it yourself, which is pretty awesome. Um, I love that cake replica. It's freaking awesome. How did I transport, and I got this question a lot, the Hover Castle, the Lego one, how did I transport it? So as you guys know, we moved from one house we put the castle on storage and then from storage we move it to a neighbor's house while our house was getting built and then from that neighbor's house we moved it here so the castle did a couple of trips we didn't move it all at once we, it's divided like in two parts so the, each part was moved on a different trip we put it on a lid like one of my boxes my bean boxes has those lids we put them on top of it and that way you know it wouldn't move and my husband was driving while I was sitting on my car floor. I have a minivan with the castle. Like I was like guarding the castle myself, making sure it wouldn't move. So I was in the back holding the castle and well, one part was in my lap in one of the rides and in the other ride it was on the floor. And that's how we transported the Lego castle. We, we were lucky and nothing broke with the Disney one one of the pieces fell and it was like a mess. And now my Disney castle is like in a corner in pieces. My husband has to build it again. So with the Hogwarts one, it, it stayed together and it made it just fine. So how do you transport them? I really like encourage, put them on a lid or put them on a piece of wood that is like sturdy and just carry it on your lap yourself. Like hug that thing. <laughs> okay, um, the bird. <laughs> And someone said the gargoyle. I'm not quite sure if this is what you mean. Someone asked me where did I got the gargoyle. This thing, it's like a griffin that is on the holder's office. I got it by Pottery Barn. I don't remember if it was Pottery Barn team, but I did, did a video on it, unboxing it, I'm showing it up close. So I'm gonna link it down below and you can see it. I think they still have it available. It's been a couple of months since I got it. I love it. It's a snack bowl. You can actually put like snacks on top or like beads candles, whatever you want, and the bird will hold it. It's beautiful. One of my favorite pieces. Um, where do you get the Horcrux replicas? I have a full video on where did I got my stuff. Um, some replicas I got from the Noble Collection. Some replicas I buy from small shops. Um, again, if you do not agree with JK Rowling's comments on 
the transgender community and you don't want to support him anymore, small shops, you can still go to a lot of very creative artists and get your Harry Potter items. Um, if not, a noble collection sells in their page. I don't think they're out of stock. They usually like restock a lot of their replicas um, that are for the horcruxes. So that's an option. I have like stuff that I have found secondhand. There's a lot of options secondhand too. Like check Mercari, check eBay, check OfferUp. If you're here in the United States, like people will put stuff in OfferUp for cheap all the time. So you don't have to like spend a lot of money um, to be able to get your replicas. Barnes and Nobles is a great option. Um, I have seen Boxlash doesn't have much replicas. They are more like um, stationary and clothes. Um, but who else has replicas? Um, Target. I have seen once, I got all my mystery ones from Walmart and Target. And Target will have like the Golden Snitch, they will have the Triwizard Cup. I got my mirror from there and it was available until like last summer. I haven't seen it again, but it was available for so many years. So Target is a good option too. So just search around. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions specifically about one certain item and I can just link it for you. Uh, let me see. How do you do? I got that. Are all the pops here? No. I have all the pops ever released are here, but the ones that are like three packs, two packs that are like just repeated because they had a common version and they did like an exclusive, those I kept in a box. Um, I did order another shelf already, so I might bring them out of the box and put them on that shelf that I just ordered for my other wall. Um, but for now, they're in the box because they are the same. It's like they're not pops that are missing in the shelf. They're just repeated. Uh, let me see. Are you adding more to your collection? Right now, the answer is no. Um, I think my collection is pretty complete. Um, there are some items, like I remember I got the Gryffindor sword and I got it twice from the uh, Wizarding World. I didn't got the official Noble Collection replica, I just got the plastic one, but it looks really good. And it was like $20. Got it twice, my kids broke it twice. I, I'm not brave enough to bring like a sword into my house with four kids. So I think that, that's going to stay my wish list for a while. So the Gryffindor sword would be one that I want to add someday. It's just not the right time for me. Um, but other than that, I feel my collection is pretty complete. Like every replica that I really wanted and I feel like I really wanted it to complete my collection is here. So I bet they're going to come out with more cool stuff. Maybe it's something that's like really cool and rocks my boat. I'll get it. But for now, I'm not on the hunt for any new Harry Potter pieces. Um, so I do have like a lot of work between the things that I want to hang, the mirror that I have from Pottery Barn. So I have my pins. I'm still collecting some pins here and there. So I, I got a lot to do. And once I'm back from that training that I'm going, I'm probably just going to refocus and get in this room where I want it to be. Um, I think I answered everything. Uh, so my Lego set. Someone asked me where were the Lego sets. As you guys can see, there is no Legos in here. Um, I mentioned, if you follow my stories on Instagram, you know that when we were packing um, last year or our Lego sets, I didn't know how to pack them. And I just like tried to bubble wrap them, put them into a box and they obviously crumbled and it's like a mess. So they're like all in boxes and I honestly got traumatized. I don't wanna see them. I don't like, I haven't bought any new Legos. I feel it's better for my bank account, honestly. I think it's just financially smarter to just not buy them. Um, but I feel like it doesn't like need like I don't need it in my collection. So I they were a nice touch, but honestly, for someone that moves stuff so much as I do, I think like I need figures that are like complete and not so fragile, if that makes sense. So the only Lego I'm keeping is the horse castle for now. I think I answered everything. If you sent me a question and I didn't answer it, just let me know and I'll answer it down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm probably gonna be posting close-ups on my Instagram, also Gio Jamis, if you haven't joined that community. And I'm always available on my direct messages. So thank you so much for being here and watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Not quite sure when the next one will be, but hopefully it's not that long. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Bye-bye.